Good evening and welcome to another video on All How That Out. Tonight we are going for something entirely different. It's the first time I've featured a spirit of any kind on the channel. Which one is it? It's this one. It is the Liars American Malt. And if you're not familiar with the brand in any way, shape or form, and this is my first experience of the brand, they are a completely alcohol-free spirit alternative. And uh, as part of the non-toxicated group on Facebook, um, where I acquired the knowledge of this one and uh, for complete and open honesty it was a, a bottle that uh, was provided to me to try and I'm going to give it a try tonight for the first time. As you can see it's a sealed bottle and it says not a lot, well it says quite a bit on the bottle to be honest um, but gives you some flavour ideas on the back. The bouquet is honey notes with scent of sweet spice and charred oak, all sounds good. Uh, the, on the palate to expect vanilla, toasted nuts and gentle spices which offer a smooth and mellow finish. And uh, yeah, you get 23 servings in this here bottle which is a 70 centilitre bottle. Uh, yeah, 70 centilitres and the average serving size is 30 ml. So I have my jigger to hand. So let's get it going. Just to give you an idea of what's in it. Now you've got water, glucose syrup, sugar, caramel sugar syrup, natural flavourings, citric acid and your preservative is potassium sorbate and your stabilizer is cellulose gum. Uh, use the supplied cap to reseal. Do not store open or with pourer. Once open refrigerate and consume within 12 weeks. I don't think that should be too hard providing it tastes all right which I hope it does and uh, yeah there will be a link in the description below where you can get this lovely well hopefully it's lovely anyway this uh, this Liars American Malt. It's really cool bottle artwork as well. Um, I do like that kind of rose gold bronze thing and uh, yeah I like it it works it looks it looks classy let's hope it tastes it so let's crack it open we're going to do it three ways tonight we're going to try it neat which could be a bit of a gamble because I've heard these alcohol free spirits are not really meant to be drunk neat I'm going to try it with ginger beer and with coke or in my case diet coke and uh, yeah so that's this let's crack it open and we shall pour three measures into pre-prepared glasses, each with an ice cube. So we've got to be quick. So we're going to pour, this is a 40 ml jigger. So we're going to go slightly less. One into each. Got a little bit more, so you can go in the neat one. Try and get it even. There we go. Four. A ginger beer and coke so it looks authentic you know it's got the color it's got the, the presence in the glass a good whiskey will have a bit of cling and this has got a bit of body to it as well based on how it looks in the glass so yeah so the whiff oh wouldn't you know it that has, that has some form of authentic aroma to it There is the honey, there is a little bit of the wood smoke. There's something else there as well. It's really, it has got that authentic peaty aroma. There's something a little bit different in there as well. It's, it's really kind of spicy, aniseedy, quite bitter. And that, that would work with a whiskey. So we're gonna try it neat first off. I, now I, I like my whiskies um, quite sort of light, sort of space side. Now, obviously this is alcohol free, so this could be, well, it could be good, it could be bad. Let's find out. Cheers. Actually, do you know what? If you're comparing this to a real bourbon, it's got that flavour. It's It's got that Jack Daniels thing about it. It really does work. And with, with, with a whiskey, with any spirit, you get a burn. And that's the one thing I thought would be almost impossible to replicate here. And it's got that, it's got that hit at the back of the throat and the back of the tongue, those kind of savory, smoky, peaty elements. And it actually isn't bad at all. 
It's not as intense as a real whiskey or a bourbon. That bit, I can safely say. But it has got that thing going. It's got, it's got the authentic vibe. I'm quite impressed with that, actually. I don't think my wife would like it because she doesn't really like whiskey, um, but she doesn't mind a Jack Daniels and Coke, so... That is not bad at all. Colour me quite impressed. So we're going to start the mixed version with this, the Morrison's ginger beer. It's the best as well, apparently. Uh, it's currently on offer in Morrison's, uh, two bottles for three pounds. Uh, so I got this one and got a lemonade. But we're going to try the ginger beer with the Coke, because one of my mum's favourite drinks when I was young was a Scotch and dry ginger. Um, so we've got a second glass. We're going to have a reasonable amount in there. About halfway. Call it there. Pop the, uh, pop the lid on. We don't want to have any accidents around PC. So, again, it looks like a Scotch and dry. It's a little bit cloudier because obviously it's a uh, slightly cloudy ginger beer as opposed to a clear version that you might get from the likes of Canada Dry. Um, again, let's have a whiff. It's got the ice cube. Ginger. Overriding ginger, but does it work with the whiskey? It does. It's, it's there. Again, I expected this to work better as a mixer because I, I hoped there would be flavours that would work when blended. I never expected it to work brilliantly as a neat spirit, but as a mixer it should have that vibe and that authenticity that would carry through and allow the mixer to do its thing and support the drink. And it does that very, very well indeed. If anything, I would say I probably need a little bit more of the, uh, the liars in there, but do you know what? That is more than passable. That is where I expected it to excel as a mixer. And that's a bloody good ginger beer as well. First time trying that, really good. The ginger gives that burn. It supports the spirit really, really well and adds what's missing. A little bit of extra burn. It works. Mm. And just for the crunch on the ice. Mm. Lovely. So, the last one before the ice melts completely it's going to be served Diet Coke. Um, so, I'm going to learn from previous experience there just, and we're going to pour slightly less Coke into the liars. Pour it off camera because monster sized bottle. Gone for, yeah, slightly less. So, whiskey and coke, Jack Daniels and coke, is a classic mixer. Um, does it work here? Yeah, it really does. Um, that smoky vibe translates really, really well with the coke as a mixer. It's got that authentic Jack Daniels type thing going on perfectly. I mean, if you, if you prefer your Jim Beams, then absolutely that's going to work as well. But this is really infinitely better than I fully expected it to be. It's smoky. It's got that vanilla thing going on, that, that burnt honey that just supports a bourbon. You know, it's there. It's spot on. It hasn't got that supporting kick that the ginger beer gives it, but... You know, the, the vibe is right. It, I would say if you want to get a closer vibe, you probably want to have a bit more. You perhaps want to go for a double in a single vert sort of pouring of Coke to get that true kind of powerful hit that you would expect from a bourbon. But do you know what? That's really rather good. Mm. So... Large American malt. So that's a really bad habit of mine, chewing on the ice cubes. I can't help it. I've always done it since a kid. Um, large American malt, impossibly crafted non-alcoholic spirits. What do I think of you? 
We're going to go with my old scoring session here. Would I buy it again? Well, again, just to uh, be completely transparent, this one I didn't pay for. It was given to me to try. And uh, I will be passing it around to some friends when we're able to as well for them to try. Hopefully we're going to have some friends that we can see within the next 12 weeks. Um, if not, I'll get a bottle and, and pass it around for people to try. Would I buy it? I, yes, I would. Absolutely. Um, that's the one thing since I started on my anticoagulation uh, back in November that I missed. I did enjoy a good whiskey at the end of a, a long week or just, just to Irish up a coffee. I did enjoy throwing in a, a shot of Jack Daniels and I've not been able to do that. Um, but I can now. This is more than an acceptable alternative. So yes, I would buy it again. Would I rush out and buy it? Yeah, I'll be brutally honest, I would. Um, the one thing that I was hoping it would have is that smoky burnt honey thing that you get with a bourbon and it's got it. The only thing it's really missing is a big burn and I fully expected that not to be available in an alcohol free spirit because it is the alcohol that gives you that burn. But honestly, even on its own, you could happily drink it neat. As a mixer, it works best with a ginger beer out of these three that we've had tonight. I'd say three, one neat, two mixers. The next thing for me to try is to try it in a coffee. I don't know if it will work, we'll find out. Um, but on the evidence that's been presented to me so far, I don't think I'll be disappointed. Um, after tonight, I'm gonna get a few other alternative spirits, shall we say, and uh, mix up some old fashions, maybe a Negroni and, and a few things and just try a few different things and just come up with something wonderful because on the evidence of this so far I don't think I'm going to be disappointed um it's got that smoky flavor it's got that burnt honey you've got that vanilla sweetness you've got that authentic vibe and that's the important thing um for me authenticity is key to keep you on the straight and narrow um for me I'm not drinking alcohol free drinks for any reason other than medical um, and for anyone who's on an alcohol free journey of any kind, you know, it's kind of important that if you did enjoy alcohol before to keep you on the straight and narrow, you want that authenticity and this has got it. Um, you know, this is the neat one. It's got the aroma. There is, there is something there. It's almost like a licorice vibe that, that just kind of makes you think that it's a little bit off kilter, but when you taste it, the authentic vibe is there and to keep you on that that path i think that is critical so yeah it's it's really really good um is it perfect i think it's as perfect as an alcohol free spirit can get it's got the flavor the only thing it's missing really is the burn but i don't expect you ever to get that in an alcohol free spirit um so yeah it's really rather good um it's gonna get more than a four is it gonna get five no um, but it's really not far off. The only thing it is missing for me is that burn. Um, but like I say, mix it with some strong ginger beer like I've done tonight here and uh, you won't be missing it at all. So ladies and gents, boys and girls, I just want to sign off and say thank you to Lisa at Non-Toxicated for the, uh, the American Malt from Liars. It's been very much appreciated and uh, I shall stick the links in the video description below for you to try it all out for yourself if you've not done so already. So, ladies and gents, boys and girls, I'm going to sign off and say that has been the alcohol-free spirit tonight, not the beer. I've been Nick, and I will see you again soon for another video. Bye.